gentlemen, today I've got two Charles Turret dress shirts here, and we are going to do a review of these shirts. I'm going to also try them on, show you what they look like, and we're going to go over whether I recommend this brand or not. So just a backstory on Charles Turret. They've been around for quite a while. Uh, they're pretty popular among most men. A lot of guys know of this brand and these shirts are very popular. And so today I've got two Charles Turret dress shirts. The first one is a extra slim fit and then the second one is a super slim fit. Both of these shirts come with a French cuff, I believe, and they also have different collars. So this is a spread collar on this shirt and then this one right here has more of a point collar. Uh, more of a typical collar that you're going to see a lot of guys wearing. So with that being said, let's uh, go ahead and open these up and see what we got. So the first shirt out of the bag, this is a non-iron and it feels very soft, softer than a lot of my non-iron shirts that I already have, so like the TM Lewin ones, this one feels a lot softer. One thing that I do like with all these Charles Turret shirts that they send you, they come with a brass collar stiffener, and uh, that's something that I think is really nice, shows really high quality, really soft material. Uh, here are the collar, the brass collar stays that I was talking about. They say turret on them, so they're very simple, they're very nice looking, they're pretty elegant, uh, and I, re I really like them. So. I'm just gonna put this back in the shirt and then we're gonna move on to the other one. This one too is also a non-iron. I've always had other shirts before and I've always enjoyed the non-iron. Now with this one, one thing I notice off the bat is there's a little bit of extra fabric here. There's a little bit of uh, lining that is coming a little bit loose. And so there's just extra thread sticking out. It's not a big deal, but that is just one thing that I've noticed so far with this second one. The first one didn't have that. So both of these shirts, they do have fringe cuffs. That's something that I signed up for when I got the shirt. One thing I like about these, if I wanted to, I could have put my monogram in the shirt, but I decided not to. Overall, I have to say these feel really good. They feel like really nice shirts. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these on and see what they look like on body. One is an extra slim, the other one is a super slim. So I'm not really sure how these are gonna fit, but we're gonna try them on. So guys, there's just a few things that I wanna talk about before I get out of here. And the first thing is the quality of the shirt. It feels good, the material on my skin. It feels almost as good as, I don't have it back there, but it almost feels as good as the quality of my suit supply shirt. One thing I don't like about the Charles Turret shirts because they're so slim is the fact that if you try to wear a bigger watch on your wrist, there's kind of a pulling that likes to happen. So if you're gonna buy these dress shirts and you're gonna get the extra slim fit or the super slim fit, like I decided, I don't recommend you wear a very big watch with these because it's gonna be hard to fit. Charles Turret did a great job on the neck. This is a 15 and a half. It feels really good. They also did good on the sleeve length. This is a 15 and a half by 35. So I'm at 35 because I have longer arms. It looks good. It fits good underneath my suits, which is something that I like to do. I like to have at least half an inch of cuff showing. And this brand did a really good job of doing that for me. This is the super slim fit. And I think this is actually better than the extra slim fit. This is the slimmest option that they have. And so if you want something that's a little bit more tighter, if you're an athletic build, go with this. One concern that I do have in the future is blowing out the elbows. Some guys experience that. I've never experienced it with the shirt, but this is very slim. And so if you are a stronger guy, then that might be a concern that you should think about. Another thing, for some reason, I had the hardest time doing these cufflinks, getting the cufflinks put in there. I don't know what it was, but the holes, all that stuff, it's very stiff. And so it's, I think that's a sign of good quality. If it's hard to put on the cufflinks, if it's hard to button and unbutton the shirt, I think that is a sign of quality. Overall, I have to say I'm satisfied with these shirts. I like the way that they turned out. $40 for each shirt, I think it was a good price. The shipping, I'm not sure, but it came out to like $93 or $94. So maybe the shirts were a little bit more, maybe $44, $45. But uh, overall, I like the quality. These are a lot cheaper than the suit supply shirts. 
and they fit just as good in my opinion. So guys, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did so, hit that like button. Also go ahead and subscribe and share. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.